Hi everybody, I know we haven't met in a long time here on this YouTube channel, I'm sorry about it. Uh, I think I have good reasons for that and I will tell you at the end of the video why. But now I'm here, I'm here with a couple of rumor updates from the apple fields around my home and uh, I'm sorry that I cannot bring you around uh, to see some epic landscape in the Dolomites because I want to stay near home these days because any days now uh, my second son could be born. So I want to be here and if it starts so I can go with my wife uh, to the hospital and then welcome our second son to our family. So I'm here nearby home but you still get your rumors and now a little recap to what we have shared in the past few weeks. We have leaked for example additional images of the 16 to 50 millimeter, the new kit lens that Fujifilm will launch and you can check them out on Fujirumo as usually the link is down below in the description box. Then we also have uh, leaked the name of the X-T30 Mark II successor and that's the X-T50, so not X-T40 but X-T50. And we also told you that both of these will be announced together because the XF 16 to 50 will be the new kit lens, it will replace the 18 to 55. So these two will be announced uh, together. So, and now to a new rumor that goes online uh, right now when you see this video. In the past one and a half, two years, I have read countless of rumors about the GFX 50R successor coming. It was predicted basically at every X Summit of the last one and a half years. They told you it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and it never came. But recently, an article published at a French website, a reputable website, Les Numériques, fueled hope for the GFX 50R successor again because they had been invited to the last X Summit and they had a talk with uh, plenty of people who work for Fujifilm. And in one of these talks, they had been told that the GFX 50R successor is under development. So that's quite a solid statement, okay? And so I asked my sources what they think about it and the answer they gave me, all of them, all trusted sources, told me that right now Fujifilm is spending zero dollars, zero pennies, zero cents, zero nada on the research and development of the 50R successor. So really you can trust our sources, there is nothing in development uh, there. So that's it as far as the rumors for today goes, but I'm working on a lot, a lot more rumors and I do plan to share them also here on YouTube and I will do everything possible uh, to bring them to you. Maybe I won't be able to bring them to you from some epic landscape because again my son will be born any day and I predict that uh, my sleep won't be the best in the next couple of weeks. So I do whatever is possible to bring them to you but I don't give up on the concept of also bringing you around and show you good landscape as soon as I have more time and energy to do that. And another reason why I struggled a bit with the videos uh, these months is that um, you know I have priorities and there is family, 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 that's my top priorities. Then comes the work, the work that actually pays for my bills, so it's the teaching and uh, the Fujirumas blog. And after that I have YouTube. And YouTube is at the bottom not because uh, I'm not in happy about it, actually it would be the one I have most fun to do uh, because I really like to show you around in the area and to give you some uh, maybe travel ideas or photo spot ideas. Uh, but it is the one that doesn't pay me anything and takes a lot of time. So I have to take a decision yeah, when I, I'm short on time on what I continue and what not. And of course family comes first, then comes the work that uh, pays off and then comes the YouTube channel. So it certainly helps if you subscribe, if you show me uh, that this channel uh, is appreciated and has a future, then it might go up a bit in my priority ranking. And another reason why I didn't really was able to make videos in the last few weeks and months is that I started to study Vietnamese because my wife is Vietnamese and she's speaking to my son in Vietnamese and uh, just sometimes they talk to each other and then my wife starts laughing and I don't get anything and I have to ask her please translate and, and but it's like um, explaining a joke after it happened so it's uh, not as beautiful as, as, as getting it live. So um, I thought I want to change that, I want to understand what my son and my wife speak and I also want to uh, be able a bit to communicate with her parents and with her relatives when we go to Vietnam. And so I started to study Vietnamese and it takes about uh, five to six hours a week of vocabulary and grammar and everything. And that five to six hours are hours that I in the past used to make YouTube videos out and about. But of course this Vietnamese now has priority because it's part of the things I do for the family, for myself and for the family. So I will give my best, I promise, to try to keep up everything so that you get also all the rumors here on YouTube. 
There might be some just from around my home or from my apartment, but as soon as I can, as soon as I find time and energy, I will bring you out and about uh, again. So that's it for this video. I see you in the next one. Lots of rumors are coming. Uh, in Vietnamese, we would say at this point, tambiet. Goodbye. Ciao.